there. That one's right there. This one's like cooked to perfection right there. How about this, the duck? So she's saying we should definitely put some sauce with the Wagyu beef. I'll put it in this one. I like this one better. This one's pretty good. Bathe in the sauce. That Wagyu beef was ridiculous. So freaking good. What's up guys, David Hoffman here from David's Been here in Hakone, Kanagawa Prefecture, Japan. Today I'm here at the Great Valley and this place is basically a sulfur spring and they're famous for their black egg which is basically an egg that has been boiled in sulfur water. After this we're gonna go see the Hakone Open Air Museum where we'll see some sculptures and then after that, we're going to Hakone and we're gonna be staying at a Rokon which is a traditional Japanese house and then we're gonna have a delicious Japanese dinner. Are you guys ready? Let's go explore. Oh wow. So we just saw the Great Valley and now we're gonna try the black egg. Are you trying the black egg? I don't know, dude. You don't, I don't think know. so? I don't know. I don't even like regular eggs. I don't know if I'm gonna like a black egg. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the black egg. Is it this big? Yeah. I'm joking, I'm joking. And then there. Fuji? Mount Fuji? Yeah. Right over there, Mount Fuji. And the black egg, you get five of them for 500 yen, so five bucks. Black egg. That's it? So you bought it? Oh wow. Oh my goodness. Here we have the black egg. So it's basically just an egg that has been boiled in sulfur. And they say if you eat this, you'll live seven years longer. You gotta crack it right here. Right there, boom. So it's just basically a horrible boiled egg in sulfur water. Looks great though. They also give you salt. Nearly 30 years old egg, a sulfur a bit of salt. black egg in Japan. Um, so apparently, oh, it's really good. Like, nice More to salt. think about going and living. Well, I'll tell you guys, that black egg was delicious. I like hard boiled eggs, so that was pretty good. It doesn't really taste different, but they say it extends your life. Where we bought the eggs, there's also like a huge souvenir shop. Huge. I mean, they have everything. Like chocolate, sake, I mean, you name it, they got it. Japanese stuff, and uh, they also have some cool golden uh, cats. The golden cat's sick. I love the golden cat. It's pretty cool. For 15 bucks? I don't know about that. <laughs> Alright, guys, I think we have to go to the open air museum. Let's go. Okay, it's raining hardcore. I'm hoping the place we're going next is uh, not raining because open air museum and this place is soaked. Oh my god, it is raining like intensely. The scenery reminds me of back in Upper East Tennessee, kind of driving through the mountains and going in the area. Whenever we were going up the hills, I looked out to the side and I kind of had a second glance thinking it was like the Blue Ridge Parkway. After a short 20 minute drive, we've arrived here to the Hakone Open Air Museum. They have a Picasso exhibit and basically as you see, it's an open park. There are a few different things. You carve space here, round plaza here. We can't film inside the buildings, but we can film outside where the sculptures are. It looks beautiful. Let's walk around and explore. Follow me. We just walked into the Hakone Open Air Museum. This museum dates back to 1969, and this was the first open air museum of its kind in Japan. It has over 400 pieces of work between the indoor and outdoor portion. Outside is over 120 sculptures, and the overall size is 70,000 square meters. They also give me an audio guide, and with the audio guide, it's in English, and we put it against the pamphlet, and it'll tell me everything about the sculpture, who made it, when it was done, etc. So we're gonna do that right now. Let's go. This section of our guided tour to sculpture is called Multiplying Materials. Next up we have The Big Hand by Rainer Kreiser, Germany. So you can see there and it's called My Sky Hope. And it was done by Bukichi Inoue. And you can reflect it, the ball. You can see the reflection of the nature and surrounding and also yourself. So you'll be part of the nature. Okay, so this is one of my kids favorite place you can actually climb into that net and you can just experience the art one of the things that they were telling us is that this place is very popular for kids people love coming here because of the few different activities kids can do right in front of us we have this huge net that kids climb you take off your shoes here you climb it but you have to be 12 years old or younger so unfortunately I can't climb it but if you're traveling in Japan with kids it's a great place to come they'll have a lot of fun here and it looks amazing. I mean, I really want to go in there. 
Are you sure? You can tell them I'm 12 years old. I can tell you I'm 13 years old. Okay, now this is a big maze, so you can go inside and you can be lost in the museum. Unfortunately, it's closed right now, but it reminds me of the Harry Potter movie. I forget, I think it's the fourth one, and they get lost in there. I mean, it looks like you can get really lost. Behind us, we have the Picasso exhibit. This exhibit has over 319 pieces, mostly ceramic work. Unfortunately, we can't film inside, but it's amazing. You guys have to come here and see this. I mean, if you like Picasso, if you like art, you'll love this. So this place also has a heated foot bath. Heated foot bath. I'm gonna take off my shoes. <laughs> if I can. <laughs> oh. Oh wow, it's warm. Oh, it's so cold outside and this is just like a different world. It just relaxes your feet. Oh, I've been walking for days and it just feels so good. And uh, in case you didn't bring a towel, most people don't, this towel is for sale here, 100 yen. Ooh, this is great. A few people here, what a great experience. I love this about this area of Japan. I've never seen this. Foot baths. Oh, and there's like a little brick here. I can just like, can like lay my feet here. Oh yeah. So once you're done, dry off. Dry off really good. Oh, it's good. Oh, my feet feel like ridiculously good right now. Oh, that was so hot. So this museum, there is a huge collection of the Henry Moore as well. So you, you Henry Moore, the, he prefer putting his work outside. So this is his dream, the museum. We did it, we explored Hakone Open Air Museum. It is beautiful out here. The Picasso Museum, the foot bath. I mean, there's so many beautiful experiences. And if you have kids, a must visit. And if you love art, obviously. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive to our hotel and go for dinner. I'm super excited. Japanese dinner at these traditional houses are on another level of amazing. Let's go eat. Five minute drive later, we are here in the Rokan. And this is my room, 412. Wow, this place is amazing. It's called Miznoto, Miznoto, sorry. It's, it's hard to pronounce it, but it's a beautiful Rokan. It's a mix between Western and Japanese. As you can see here to the far right, we have the Japanese style flooring. We have a table very low. There's some Japanese sweets right there. We have some green tea. We also have the chairs there on the ground, some stools and some towels for the public and private baths. And over here we have, you know, two twin beds. So I'm gonna sleep here tonight, but if you wanted to, you can get the futon, which is right here. It's put together and that's it. And they have like a mini kitchen. We have a microwave, a sink and a fridge. And here we have the bathroom, got a sink, Got some cups right here, got the shower, and the toilet is actually on the other side, right there. All throughout Japan, you have these super advanced toilets. Look, all those buttons, those are like bidets. And behind it, you have that, so you have a sink, and as soon as you flush, that's what happens. And, like I said, it is a Japanese, traditional Japanese hotel, so over here, we have the like you know the robe and you gotta dress with the robe for dinner so let's see right here we have ll shirt and yeah i'm super excited because i love wearing this this is like the way you do it traditional japanese dinner in a traditional japanese robe all right i'll see you at dinner all right ready for dinner as you can see i'm dressed up i'm ready to go i love this outfit super sick got my sandals <laughs> Let's go eat. So you can put your... 76, I put these in there and guard those. Oh, no, you don't. We, we don't eat. Oh, what you want? Oh, wow. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, we're sitting up here. Nice. How far is that? looking the menu, the hot drink. Wow. Okay, so we are sitting, not on the floor. We're sitting like on a bench. It looks like we're sitting on the floor because the floor up here where you walk on is where you sit, but you at least put your feet down so it doesn't hurt your legs, you know, because that really hurts. But tonight we're doing like something very different. We're doing like a grill, like as you can see, the fire's right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get fish or meat and put it right here and, and it cooks. It's sort of like Korean uh, barbecue in a way, but it's Japanese barbecue. Oh my God, I'm so excited. She told me to look at the drink menu, so I'm gonna go for some sake, have to. And guys, the only reason I drink sake while I'm in Japan is because I can. We have like some appetizers here. Oh my God, everything looks so amazing. 
This is okay. the most dry. Would you like to? I'll go with the most dry. Yeah, it's fine. So to start, we have a mixed appetizer plate. We got some blowfish skin over here. We have some tofu over here. We have some crab. We have some chicken, salmon, bean, lotus flower. I mean, a huge variety. And this is tofu with soybean. Tasting. Blowfish skin with a salad. And the blowfish skin is the very bottom. Mm. Nice. Very refreshing salad. It almost smells like a super, super light coleslaw with with blowfish skin. I mean, I didn't even taste the blowfish skin. Crab little biscuit. Mm. Big chunks of crab, a little crispy. Fantastic. Chicken with poppy seeds, you said? Chicken with poppy seeds? Very nice textures. This is fish cake with salmon. What are you chewing in? Like, two completely different flavors. Not bad. Monk fish liver right here. Mm. Like delicious liver. Dried parsley with cheese. It looks almost like a dessert, actually. Mm. This is a fried lotus flower. Super crunchy. Feels like tempura. Next up, we have four different pieces of sashimi and we have some sake. And then right here, we have a miso glaze, like a sauce. Some of the wasabi in there. And then right here, we have salmon with some seaweed. And you said this goes good with the miso mustard, right? Mm -hmm. Right there. Oh. oh, there's actually two pieces here. I didn't notice that. Mm. The miso mustard almost tastes like a honey mustard. Wow. Next two things we have are Sebring. So we have two pieces. Oh, yeah. Mm. Soy sauce and the wasabi. Incredible. Another Sebring with an herb and some carrots. And this one I'm gonna put into soy, right? Yes, soy. Soy. The herb is really strong. <coughs> Maybe it was the wasabi that was strong. <laughs> and the next one is yellowtail. Up to you. Yeah, I'll try it like this. Oh, it reminds me so much of honey mustard. And then we also have over here, all the things we're gonna grill. So we have like some beef, we have some fish, we have some scallops, we have shrimp. We have broccoli, Brussels sprouts, lots of mushrooms. Come pie. Come pie. <laughs> Made here. Interesting and trying new things. <laughs> oh, that looks great. It's trout. Okay. We'll do the, the fish side uh -huh. and some veggies, and then we'll do the meat side and some veggies. Okay. All right, so here we have some cod and we have a yam. This is the yam for sure. It looks like a potato. Similar. Like a mashed potato. It's a little, it's a little hard though. And right here we have delicious cod. Mmm. This is one of my favorite fishes. fishes. Bacalao, codfish. That's amazing. Our barbecue is almost ready. I'm excited. Shrimp, scallops, wagyu beef. Wow. Arigato. So first thing we're trying is some trout. I'm gonna put the trout into this sauce. Like a soy sauce. Mm. Mm. Like butter. What, what would you put the scallop into? So green onion salt sauce. Mm. That was very nice. Brussels sprouts. Everything is so fresh. Only thing they have is like salt and pepper. And then the spring onion. And here we have the shrimp. We have to rip it apart. I mean, it's not smart to grab this after it just came off the, the barbecue. Right there. Bathe it in the soy sauce. So we're gonna put some Wagyu beef, which is the Wagyu. This too is the Wagyu. Oh, this, this is, is amazing. This is pork. Love Wagyu beef. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave some space so we can put more vegetables. Got some duck here as well. Duck has some nice fat on it. Hey there. That one's right there. This one's like cooked <laughs> perfection right there. How about this, a duck? I think all that meat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the duck, she says we could dip it. I'm gonna put that with the miso. It's a little too rare, but the fat, delicious. Mm, super yummy. So she's saying we should definitely put some sauce with the Wagyu beef. I'll put in this one. I like this one better. 
This one's pretty good. Look at that. It's like bathed in the sauce. That wagyu beef was ridiculous. So freaking good. Mmm. Some salmon roe right here. That's all it is. Salmon roe, but with some jelly, right? With jello on top. Wow. I'm just gonna mix it. Mmm. Oh my god. You want me to try it? Yeah. Alright, here we have some mushroom. Mmm. Water just brushed it out. Mm hmm. Another yam. Right here. Mmm. I have some meat left to put in. Veggies were taking up a little bit of space. You have a dried sweet potato dipping in a soy sauce. Mmm. Incredible sweet potato. We have pork drizzle there. Mmm. I mean, that was a sauce. All right, so Haley didn't want to eat the macro with radish. So I was gifting it to you. I you know. Didn't try it. I mean, it looks great, but I might just go for the macro. Mmm. It's like a nice miso glaze. Next thing we got is the wagyu beef. One more piece. Mmm. That's the best one. Sebring rice. <laughs> Sebring rice. So you gotta mix this all up. Get some of that Sebring. Pick that sticky rice up. Wow. Sticky Sebring rice with uh, some herb and a spicy little glaze. Very fishy rice. <laughs> Big chunks. And the, and the rice is actually a little, like, uh, like it's burnt. You know, they burnt it a little bit. Which is good tonight. I kind of the roasted taste. Mm -hmm. The roasted taste is very nice. First thing we're trying here is uzu jello with citrus on top. Oh my god, look at that. It's really good. It's almost like a creme brulee with citrus on top, I guess. Like a little flan. A potato. I pass. Alright guys, sake time. I'm done. Wow, we had such an epic day here in Hakone. I mean, we were first we'll start out at the Great Valley. And we saw the Sulphur Springs and we tried a black egg, which was pretty delicious. Then we went and we saw the Hakone Open Air Museum. It was amazing. I think my favorite part was the Picasso Museum and also doing the foot bath, which is like, it's epic. It's something you could do only here in Japan. And then coming here to this hotel and then having like a barbecue, Japanese barbecue. I mean, it's, this meal is epic, really filling. I'm like beyond full, but it's like once in a lifetime, right? So you have to do it, YOLO. Well guys, if you love this video, give me a thumbs up. Let me comment below and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Japan. Peace. Plum wine is pretty good, pretty good.